Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to show you guys just a little tips and trick video of things you can do in the MLV.app program. Let's get started. All right, guys, now that we're in the MLV app, let's apply our basic uh, preset. So one thing that I've been looking at, this is pretty much the same thing, except this one in particular, this preset has no gain and it does not have a vignette applied. One thing that I've been thinking about is looking at this waveform here. This is one thing I've seen is that the waveform doesn't actually go from end to end when doing this technique with the preset. And so I've been thinking of ways inside of MLV app how I could get a more balanced image that I would like on export from here instead of having to do these adjustments in DaVinci, which is what I found myself having to do using a node just to be able to get the image in a basic place where I would like it to be. Well, in MLV app, if we use the preset, the airy preset, and we use a conversion LUT, enable that for previewing purposes, what we can do is use turn on creative adjustments to allow ourselves to be able to edit it. Well, you notice if you were to turn it on or set the preset and turn it on, you'd notice the image would get a bit dark. The reason is that dark strength defaults at 20. So if you take dark strength all the way down like I have in this preset, the image is identical to the way it would look if you didn't have uh, creative adjustments on. So if we start with dark strength all the way down, then we can come in here to these edits or to these controls and be able to get the image to a place that we'd really like it to be. So first off, I'm going to grab light range and we're going to up it a little bit to around 70 something in that ballpark i want to grab it from like two-thirds of the way up ish that's the wrong slider we're going to lift it that's about perfect and you can see how it's coming up in the waveform and we're getting a little bit more punch in the snow um the other thing we can do is we can actually mess with dark strength but i'm going to bring down the range quite a bit because a lot of the image exists in the shadows I'm going to pull that and see it watching the waveform. It's not really affecting much of the image. We can pull this up and watch it up here and see what it's actually doing. We're going to bring it back a little bit. I don't want it quite actually getting to black, as you can see some of that blue pixel dots getting in here. Then I'm going to use uh, highlights and shadows. We're going to see what will happen if we play with this a little bit. Let's push shadows down a little bit and push highlights up. You can see we're getting that up a little bit more. Um, something like that to get more of a basic look out of it. This isn't that aesthetically pleasing. This is just a really basic grade or not a grade, but a basic look adjustment to get it somewhere in a better ballpark. Um, one other thing you can do if we were to reapply that basic uh, preset, reset all of those changes we've just done is... Another thing I was just actually playing with today is using to with, is with the idea of getting the footage as close to being finished uh, on export from MLV app so that if you really wanted to, all you would have to do is put it into your editor, assemble your clips in your editor and be able to export it and be done as opposed to having to then color grade, go through the whole color grading process in, um, in DaVinci, say. Well, with that, you can use their filters here to get yourself in a kind of uh, cinematic look um, or aesthetic look. So this Viz 3, I like for this scene with the snow. Um, besides using that, one other thing you could do is emulate what we do in DaVinci. You could, uh, instead of the Airy LUT, you could select the Kodak LUT then come up here and change say let's let's do that let's do that we're going to change our color space to rec 709 then we're going to come down here to the LUT we're going to change the LUT we're going to go over here we're going to find film looks then we're going to find our Kodak we're going to go with the 60 so this is the rec 709 uh, 2383 we're going to select that 
there we go. We have we've emulated by doing this. We're using the area log C, but the color space uh, of rec seven hundred nine. So we're emulating the process that we do in if we turn that off that we would do in DaVinci. So then um, what we could do is mess now that we've got this set up so we could actually do this and have it not be messing with the image out of the bat or right off the bat with the dark image, we can start playing with this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is up the exposure a little bit. We're going to grab something like this much of the image and the whites, pop those a bit, something like that. We can also make it a bit colder. Let's move it down to, I don't know, arbitrarily choose 4,000. That's way too cold. Let's go 5,000, something like that. Um, maybe up the contrast a little bit, do like a little bit of a basic grade, something like that. That's not the worst thing in the world. This isn't a stellar footage anyway. Um, and get a basic look similar to what we would do if we were to have done the preset and everything like that out of um, here and then done used color space transform and stuff like that. And the, la the techniques I taught in the last video, instead, we can do it here in MLV app if you want a simple process, simpler process. Um, this would be for if you really need it. Um, I wouldn't generally do this because I would want to retain as much of that logarithmic um, and color detail as I can in DaVinci so that, say, if I'm doing a short film or something like that, I can go back and re-edit the footage without having to come into the MLV app and edit it here. I'd rather have the airy look and everything uh in the or the airy log going into davinci so that i can in davinci edit it later if that makes sense but if you're in a time or if you're in a position where you just want to have it out of mlv app assemble it in davinci and call it a day this is a good way to do it um, one other thing i wanted to show quick was the toning uh tab i really like this tab how it functions because of how it applies to the entire image is actually really cool and i don't know how exactly you could do something like this in davinci but we can get kind of like a cooler like winter look for example in this image by changing it to that blue and then just bringing the strength up a little bit kind of gives it more of like a wintry feel while getting that film simulated or emulated lut look in it as well um really cool stuff um i really hope that this has helped you guys out um i will be making these three presets available uh this one is your normal does nothing to the image besides some sharpening and the preset and the LUT conversion this one is a basic like quote unquote cinematic look i wouldn't necessarily recommend just applying this and calling it a day if you use this uh, I would highly recommend actually doing edits on top of it. Let's just apply it and see what it looks like. Bam, something like that, I guess. I would highly recommend editing on top of it, um, not just leaving it the way that I have it. Um, but it gets you in that ballpark applying the filter and stuff. Um, and then the grain and vignette uh, preset as well so that it adds some uh grain just a little bit of grain and then that vignette which is in this case similar to what you would expect from an anamorphic lens anamorphic type of uh vignette um i hope you guys have a fantastic day thank you for watching